After making a successful career in music, Stevie Wonder has lived in plenty of beautiful homes from the east to the west coast since his days growing up in Detroit. It's reported that these days, he and his wife live in the luxury Bel Air Crest neighborhood in Los Angeles, but he's also formerly lived in a Los Feliz mansion and one in Beverly Hills, just to name a couple. Today we'll take a look at a few of Stevie's homes, we even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. It's unlikely that you don't know who Stevie Wonder is, as he's a music legend. The singer, songwriter, musician, and more was a well-known figure in music during the second half of the 20th century, and one of the most successful. Stevie is essentially a one-man band, and his use of electronic instruments in the 70s helped reshape R&B. He's been credited as a major influence to many music musicians over the years of different genres from pop to gospel to rhythm and blues and more. Stevie was blind since shortly after birth and became a child prodigy known as Little Stevie Wonder, signing to a record label at the young age of 11. In fact, one of his tunes was number one when he was only 13, making him the youngest ever to top the charts. His peak of success came in the 1970s and then he began a classic period with his music. Stevie has sold over 100 million records worldwide, making him one of the best-selling artists ever and has also won 22 Grammy Awards among plenty other awards and accolades. At the time of this recording, Stevie has amassed himself an estimated net worth of about $110 million and has invested in lavish real estate throughout his life. His hometown is Detroit, Michigan, but these days he's made his main home in none other than Los Angeles. It's said he lives with his wife Tamika Robin Bracey in the exclusive Bel Air Crest neighborhood of LA where he's next door neighbors with Gordon Ramsay. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed a bunch of you guys watching our videos aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to ring that bell and help us get to a million subscribers. We post a new video daily. Today we're going to take a look at where Stevie Wonder calls home, including a gorgeous mansion in Los Feliz he used to live at and more. The icon has owned mansions from multiple properties in LA to Alpine, New Jersey, so it's clear he likes to invest in real estate. If you like this video, we've reported on the homes of other music legends like Ray Charles and Prince, which we'll link to at the end. As always, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Like I mentioned, Stevie's hometown is Detroit, Michigan, and when he was a child, he lived on Hastings Street. These days, the house on the property has been described in listing materials as a charming ranch home and has been renovated and upgraded all around. This house sits on an acre of land and spans just over 1,000 square feet inside, but it looks like a really nice family home. Then, as a teen, Stevie was still living in Detroit, this time in a Tudor-style home on Green Lawn Street. But this home has since been torn down. After Stevie found continued success the music industry, he eventually put down some roots in Los Angeles. He's owned multiple properties in the area and apparently still does, including one in Woodland Hills, his current home, and more. At one point, the musician lived in this beautiful Los Feliz mansion, which we'll take a look at. Back in 2008, Stevie decided to put this house on the market for $3.2 million, and in more recent years, the gorgeous abode has gone up for sale again with a much steeper price tag of over $8 million. While Stevie purchased the home many Many, many years back from year 435k, he sold it for about $2.4 million. The home has been completely reimagined since, considering Stevie bought it way back in the 70s and held on to it for about 30 years. It was in need of an upgrade. Situated on a lot spanning almost half an acre of land, the mansion is described as a 1920 Mediterranean house with an Art Deco period design. Located in Los Feliz, this neighborhood is a relaxed hillside enclave that borders Griffith Park and the Griffith Observatory. In recent years, the neighborhood has become trendier, with both creative and famous people choosing to call Los Feliz home. Considering how desirable the area is and how the mansion looks now after being completely upgraded, it's no wonder the price tag jumped up by millions of dollars. Stevie's former mansion spans 4,511 square feet inside with seven beds, seven baths, and 14 rooms in total, including a beautiful pool house out back. Nearly everything was changed inside this house. They said goodbye to 
features like a tiki bar, replacing it with a fancier marble bar. The mansion is located behind large wooden gates for privacy, and it overlooks downtown LA right to beautiful ocean views. Walking into the villa, there's a dramatic double staircase and a rotunda style entry with sparkling chandelier overhead and skylights. The hardwood floors below also lead down a few steps to a common space with wall of windows and a cute European style terrace. A living room here has arched glass doors, vaulted wooden ceilings, and a fireplace. There are multi-level terraces across the mansion and most common spaces have doors to these spaces. Stevie's former mansion has been transformed to include a massive kitchen with all the newest and priciest appliances, including a huge fridge, and there's also a casual eating space with more doors out to a covered terrace. On the lower level of the home, there's a solarium style room that's all walls of windows, which has a lounge space and bar and walks out to the backyard. Additional features in Stevie's former mansion include a basement floor that listing materials claim was turned into a theater room. There is also a separate guest house cabana with its own bedroom and bath. Outside, of course, there's a luxury sparkling pool and spa set within a grassy lawn surrounded by patios. Just last year, another home that Stevie used to live at came up on the market, this time located in the coveted Truesdale Estates neighborhood. Stevie lived here from 2011 to 2015, but it's said that he was leasing the home instead of owning it, and most recently, this pad sold for a whopping $10.5 million. This shouldn't come as a surprise though, considering the average home price in this posh neighborhood is over over $11 million. Truesdale Estates is located in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains and home to a long list of high profile celebrities from Eva Longoria to Elton John and many more. The community was developed in the 1950s and 60s and is a highly private part of Beverly Hills. Stevie's former home here was set high up on a lot overlooking views of the hills and city lights and the Hollywood Regency style abode was a single level. Still, interior spaces spanned over 6,000 200 square feet, offering up four beds and eight baths throughout. The entire home, or most of it, boasted expanses of windows, especially along the back, that offered views towards Century City, while on a clear day you can even see the ocean. The secure and gated grounds span half an acre of land, and there's plenty of patio space and areas to dine and entertain here. Not to mention there's the requisite swimming pool, which also offers amazing views. Other features include a four-car underground garage, which is accessed through the front entry. Before it was listed in 2020, Stevie's former home was up on the market in 2006 for $4.9 million and last sold in 2015 for $6.4 million, a fair amount less than it's worth now. In terms of being up for rent, the property was priced as high as $21K per month in 2015, which would have been just after Stevie moved on from the place. My guess is that's around how much he was paying to live here. While we know that Stevie lived in and owned a handful of desirable properties in the Los Angeles area, like the two we just looked at. These days, it's said he settled down in Bel Air Crest. While information on this home is kept really private, Stevie and his wife are reportedly next door neighbors to celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay here. Bel Air Crest is an exclusive 24 hour guard gated community nestled in the Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles. It's described as a resort style subdivision with about 200 homes or mansions, if you will, that have an average price of $10 million. Here, properties boast views of the canyons and hills, and luxury mansions are private and secure. The neighborhood is one of the most prestigious in the area, so it's no doubt that Stevie chose to call this place home. Alright, so now we've taken a look at a couple of the homes Stevie Wonder has called home, so I think I'll wrap up this house tour here. After checking out two of his former properties, including the beautiful mansion in Los Feliz he sold in 2008, and his lavish Truesdale Estates rental, what did you guys think? I mean, we even saw his charming childhood home in Detroit which you can compare to. Even that home, though it was modest in size, was charming. I absolutely love the first mansion we looked at, especially how it was renovated in recent years. While the space is sprawling, there are still cozy rooms to make it feel like a home. I think my favorite parts of this mansion were the sunroom with walls of windows and of course, the pool. Be sure to tell me what you liked or didn't like about Stevie's homes in the comments down below. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel because I would love to get to know all of you better. We'll link you my latest video. All right, all right, all right. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna start talking about David Berkowitz. So, like I said, David Ber Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.